Welcome, everyone. Our mission is to co-create spaces of belonging by collaboratively documenting and remixing underrepresented traditional musicians and their community stories. So why does that matter? Because the world has a tendency to devalue the lives of certain communities. So not only are we celebrating music and culture that deserves to be heard and experienced because it's awesome, but in doing so we are playing a small part in working towards a world where everyone truly has a seat at the table. A world where we agree that what is sacrosanct is life itself. sight of that, we make space for obscene terms like collateral damage and strategic interests. And from there, it's a slippery slope to ethnic cleansing and genocide. Whether it's about the homelessness in the streets of the U.S. or it's about the people in Gaza right now, I mean, for me they're the same. It's just for me about learning from the people in Gaza that, in the same way that they won't leave, they won't abandon their patients or their parents or their kids or their humanity. We can't abandon them. We can't leave them behind. And for that to happen, we need to understand that Gaza is not just rubble. Gaza is life. If I must die, you must let to tell my story. If I must die, let it bring hope, let it be a tale.
And to realize we need to do that together. We can't do it alone. So why are we here tonight? Because we believe in the power of art as much more than entertainment. And so part of our collective invitation tonight is to join together in deep listening, open our hearts and minds as much to the narrative correction work as to the beautiful music and dope beats. To create space where we can listen to the voiceless, the silenced, and simply by listening, even when, or rather especially when it makes us uncomfortable, we can start to collectively get closer to a shared knowing, something we can really feel in our hearts, that life is truly sacrosanct and that none of us are free until we are all free. <laughs>